So welcome to Hangul Mal Series 2. This is Honorifics and the Honorific Base. So, what is this? This is when talking to people older than you that you don't know, or even people near your age that you don't know. It's about their actions or their descriptions. Now when I say older, I mean anyone older, okay? And when I say you don't know, I mean pretty much anyone you don't know except for little kids, okay? This is never never ever about yourself you don't understand how stupid you sound if you use a honorific to yourself okay honorifics which is what I'm teaching you this lesson is never about yourself and if you don't use it towards other people it's extremely rude okay this is what puts so much pressure on you when you're speaking Korean okay you need honorifics when I first learned Korean I was terrible at telling when to use honorifics or not that's why I'm stressing it in these lessons there's no such thing as an honor system in English. All we have is basic verbs. In Korean, they're taking this five levels higher when we never even had levels in English. So we had to get used to this immediately in Korean. Keep practicing with it. Know when to use honorifics. Hint, not by yourself, not about yourself. And when not to use honorifics. That's to yourself. No use is about yourself. Use of honorifics is never about yourself. How to make it. Simply, this is the greatest form because it is so simple to make. Take the verb base. So remember, you find it in a dictionary. It has ta. Remove ta. If it ends in a vowel, add shi. For example, sada to buy turns to sashi. Mannada to meet turns to mannashi. If it ends in a consonant, add ushi. So it's kind of difficult or it's kind of rough to say shi right after a a sorry a consonant so they're just adding an e to soften it so itta turns to isushi para turns to padushi now using it add the appropriate ending afterwards so this is basically there's a base this is called the honorific base it can't be used on its own but from what I taught you have a verb ending to use which is pip nida or ka so because this already ends in a vowel, you can only have one option. That's pip ni da. You can't say sum ni da in this form. So what we have is sada would turn into sashin ni da or sashin ni ka. Mannada would be mannashin ni da or mannashin ni ka. Itta would be issushin ni da and issushin ni ka. Patta to receive will be padushin ni da or padushin ni ka great so using it again when you're talking about someone else okay and it's assumed if you don't say the who's doing the action you're talking to the listener so someone else mostly use with action verbs in the last lesson we learned action versus descriptive mostly use with action you can get away without using these um, with uh, descriptive verbs must be used with action verbs this is actually a must with action verbs and you must learn to use it appropriate because it's extremely important okay when you talk about someone else who's older than you so the regulars are verbs ending in tigut which change tigut to you which is completely weird and then add ushi for example put that to listen will turn into tirushi verbs ending in piup most of them not all of them for now just do all of them because there are very few exceptions add u instead of u and simply drop piup and then add she. For example, gupta to roast turns into gushi. Verbs ending in diu, drop it and add she. Salda to, to live turns into sashi. Now you also add sada to buy as the same honorific base. How do you tell which one's which? Well, you have to simply look at the context. It's because they are both identical now. Okay, that's what's kind of annoying. This one's the most annoying. This one's a little annoying. But now you'll never mix up verbs ending in do because it's just going to drop it. So there is such thing as tulda, and that's to lift or to hold, tulda. But you won't mix it up with tutta because tulda would be tushi. Okay? That's what you that's the nice thing about these rules. Next one, here I have some practice. So Hi, how are you? A common greeting. If I ha uh, make some mistakes with these, please forgive me. I uh, tend to call these kind of like tongue twisters because they're kind of hard to say. 
you get kind of used to them and you still look at them and you go oh my gosh what am I thinking but here's the fun of it that's well that is the fun of it so a common greeting in Korean is hi how are you which could be if you want to be really polite and uh, even in the normal 안녕하세요 you have the she there only it's in the say form which you're going to learn that probably next lesson uh, you're going to say 안녕하십니까 and you can say this to people that you don't know it's very polite okay you read the newspaper this is one that I get kind of uh, tricked with okay ready newspaper is 신문 so 신문을 읽으십니다 sorry 신문을 읽으십니다 신문을 읽으십니다 you read the newspaper 신문을 읽으십니다 are you eating the apple 사과를 먹으십니까 사과를 먹으십니까 are you eating the apple now these are all so polite I'm so happy so polite is good in Korean Sumi Kim's writing quickly Kim Sumi Shinun she 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 politeness right there Kim Sumi Shinun Baili Sushinida Kim Sumi Shinun Baili Sushinida is Jiwan Han buying a lot of books Han Jiwan Shinun Jagir Panni Sashinika so it's G1 hand buying a lot of books. Here's books right here. Here's a lot. So, Han Ji Wan Shinun, Tegel Pani Sashinika. Now, here's another set. Uh, do your friend, <laughs> does your friend, sorry, my English is not very good. Does your friend give you that? Chingunun, Kugosur, Jushinika. And that's very respectful. Chingunun, Kugosur, Jushinika. So, this is something so that's that in English and then this is friend and this is give okay chuda to give chuda okay shingunun kogosul jushinika and here is pumonimun pumonimun parents mannashimnida so pumonimun mannashimnida they meet your parents or it could be the ver reverse this particle is ambiguous in that sense 부모님은 만나십니다. Is Su Jung Han talking? 한 수정 씨는 말하십니까? 한 수정 씨는 수정 씨는 말하십니까? So remember da for question, da for statements. Is Jung Ha Kim sleeping? Kim Jung Ha Gun or Kim Jung Jung Ha Shin은 자십니까? Kim Jung Ha Shin은 자십니까? Is Jong Ha Kim sleeping? Is Adam selling rice? So imagine me pe peddling rice on the street. Adam Shinun, Pabur Pashimnika. Adam Shinun, Pabur Pashimnika. So that's an example of one of the verbs that drops the deal at the end. So this is, oh, this is pat, Palda to sell. Palda. So that's Tigut Ah. Tigut Ah. Palda. Okay? So keep working with this. Remember, add she or she when you're not talk when you're not talking about yourself, but to be really polite. It's really good to be polite in Korean. It's actually obligatory, or else you sound like a twit. Okay, she is very important. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.